Well, hello, hello. Welcome back to another video. Same with Slam here. Welcome back to Slam Journals. This is your first time. This is just me in my kitchen or wherever else. I just talk about the day, how my day's been, and talk about what's been going on. Ranting, venting, bitching, or complaining, or whatever. It's what I do. It's very therapeutic for me. I was going to do this Slam Journals because this is the morning of the 28th. This is from the 27th. But I will get to, we'll get to the point where I, I yeah I wasn't gonna do it. But yesterday though was my first day back to work this week. Uh, I called off Monday. Didn't feel good Monday. I had a, a pack attack or some at one or two o'clock in the morning with my heartbeat. I'm on these two acid reducers, 40 milligram omeprazole and 40 milligram Famodine. Pepsi rare at night. I ended up taking off the fucking uh, fucking wedge. I ended up, uh, I, I, I started not taking the Famodine. I started just taking the home mappers on the fucking morning. I got GERD bad. I, mean, I don't know. I really have no idea how they even fucking checked it out or not, but I don't know. So I didn't go to work, yada yada. Plus, dealing with cars and no cars and shit. So yesterday, my mother was off on Wednesday, so she ended up uh, picking me up. Take, and took me to work. I had my lunchbox. I just, it's part of not my schedule of things. It fucks with things because I like to leave at a certain time, uh, around 8.25, or, uh, yeah, 8.25, usually. And, well, it was alright now this time, but just have no car and shit, but, well, my biggest mistake is that I, uh, well, for breakfast I had a, 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 a a, peanut butter, uh, a slice of peanut butter toast and then a regular slice of just toast and then I had the, the thing oh you know what when I get to work I'm gonna give me a donut I got me a I mean it's like alright sure I got this donut I went to work I, put, I dropped all of my stuff off I also had my hoodie on I had a pullover hoodie because it was not too bad the, the weather was great actually it was like very nice and stuff. Um, well, first, so I never had this donut. I had the caramel, like cr the caramel, like cinnamon roll kind of thing with, with nuts on it. And that my my gird or or my heartburn did not like that at all. Or my esophagus or something did not like that at all. And I was going through some shit to you guys last night. And then the fucking rain. That's the thing. I've worked in the rain before, and the thing is, too, I left my damn rain suit in the, my Ford Focus, my mother's car that we drive. Well, it had to go in the shop, which we'll talk about that here in a fucking minute. But uh, I left my damn outfit, and it, I, I, I actually, I, I worked in the rain before, and it's okay. It's just dotly sprinkling. But this motherfucking shit hit probably around 9.30, 10-ish, something like that. And it just, it just came down. God can't, God said, well, you know, I'm just going to fucking rain every damn where. And he did. And it just kept going and going. And I did not want to spend any fucking extra money today, or yesterday it was. I didn't want to spend any, well, I get paid today. But, I mean, I didn't want to, because I, I didn't want to spend any extra money. But... On my 11 o'clock, my first break, whatever, I ended up getting me, uh, I went to the fucking, where we have rain suits, we have ponchos, but then also we have a rain suit, the frog togs, which I have, I have a, a, um, I have a suit, so I ended up getting another one, but the thing is though, I got a different kind of suit, which, cause the, the one I have was 30 fucking dollars, and... It's like a medium size to large size. So I ended up getting me this light suit that is, that's $10 less. It's $20, but with my discount, $19.25. So I mean, uh, I ended up getting this and I got a medium, but it looks so fucking big and overlapping me, like on my feet and shit. It's like, I don't know about this shit. So I, either I was, now I was off the fucking, I was back on the clock. And I went back and I got me a smaller one because the waistline and stuff was smaller than that. It was a 41 and it was a 51 on a medium. 
So I was telling Cindy, my coworker, she was in the she was working in the customer service. Say, hey, I know I'm on the clock, but I, I gotta switch these. I have no rain suit, and it's ridiculous out there. So I ended up getting this thing on, and it's it's not quite too, it's quite not too bad. But it's like I said, I still got the old rain suit still. So I mean, I can wear that one too. So I have two rain suits. Um, one that's kind of big on me, and then the other that's that's, that's smaller on me. Um, but yeah. Uh, it was this work. The rain is just and and the thing is too. It's I had my hoodie on and I had my uh, earbud in my ear for my podcast. But when you have a damn, uh, I mean, maybe it'll happen to every single one of these things. But I got uh, pebbles. I got these like uh, I don't know where the fuck I put them. Well, they're probably in the chair. But uh, I got these this Galaxy Bud live ripoffs. And um, excuse me. Yeah, I got these, like, Galaxy Live... Hold on real quick. Yeah, I got these, um... I got... They're called... Pe they're the Me brand. M-E-E. -E. Me. Um, they are like, um... Yeah, they're these kind of thing. You know, they're a little earbud thing. You know, you just put them in your ear, you know. I like it. Um... But yeah, I got the, I mean, the thing is though, but when I had my hoodie on, I kept on fucking with my shit. I kept on, there's buttons on here, and there's little things, and, and it kept fucking with my show. And I I listen, and I listen to podcasts, that's what gets me through work. I get in trouble, supposedly. But here's the thing is though, I have to, if I'm doing something repetitive, and mostly I'm outside, and I'm pushing carts, and then, you know, when we have calls, oh, we have a run, and the thing is, I have my walkie right here. I have this ear. And this year, the thing is, I have that on, maybe on, or maybe not on. And, I mean, not on all the damn time, but fuck it. It's just, I and mean, podcasts, is get, it gets me through the day. Because when, when you're not doing, when you're doing the same shit for your carts, all fucking damn, like, whatever, six, I, six point fifty hours, that's how much I work. I don't do the seven hour, eight hour life. I'm just six point fifty hours. That's me for right now, until... I'm not struggling no more. Because I'm not struggling right now. I mean, personally, I mean, mentally I am. But right now with money and everything, I mean, I mean, yeah. I'm real, I'm not struggling at all right now. But sooner or later, I'm going to have to have a more, another day. It's just, I don't know. It really just, uh, it just, it stresses the hell out of me about. But I have that and that gets me through the day. I listen to podcasts about wrestling mostly. Just certain like wrestling shows, looking back at wrestling shows, or looking at or doing a profile of a certain wrestler, and it's entertaining and it helps me get through the damn day. But it it, it was rain. It kept going on and on. Must have just been inside and not do shit inside. You know, I hardly didn't do a fucking thing. You know, usually I just sit out there and just don't do shit. Don't do jack shit. Um, and certain stuff inside, I really don't know. I, I, I salvage and stuff. I don't know where the fuck I put it at. So, like, fuck that. But I got through the day. Uh, my mom picked... Uh, oh, yeah, lunch. I had me a Dr. Pepper, which... I'm starting to stay away from caffeine, but... Caffeine, I'm still... I'm, I'm a caffeine maniac, and I have Dr. Peppers right there. And I have hardly enough in the drink today, which I did get something, but here's it. But... At lunch, I had my regular lunch meat sandwich, turkey lunch meat with uh, banana cream, yogurt, and applesauce. And I had me uh, peanut butter crackers for my snack. And gummies. I had some uh, gummies with fiber, which last two weeks, wherever it was ago, a week and a half ago, I ate too much fiber and I had gas. But mom picked me up at work and then uh, she had to stay, she had to get some stuff. So I ended up getting me some red pop. Some Fago Red Pop, and uh, what else did I get? Well, we were going to get some candy corn, but we had to go to Walgreens, because my mom had to get a picture my grandpa made for my sister, print it off. And then I got me some s'mores candy corn. Now, I ended up consuming it, then we went to my, my parents' house, where my dad was there, my mom had some chicken thighs, and uh, I ended up having a can of Red Pop, can of... Fago Red Pop, and I had me a couple bites of, even before we got to dinner, a couple bites of this s'mores, uh, this s'mores, uh, candy corn. Well, I ended up going for a walk, my regular, regular walk around my parents' house, 
basically about down, almost a downtown, and not, well, not really downtown, but I call it the Walker Redemption. I've been doing this walk since I've gone the main road of 4th Street or whatever, and uh, I've been, I call it the Walker Redemption because it's when I started going through some shit with my stomach. I had a colonoscopy and shit. I started when I was in pain and during my divorce, it really got to my head. I started just walking near with traffic, which I hate walking with traffic, but but oh no, I walked there, came back, and yada yada, went back home, and I started watching this movie Southbound, which I was going to review yesterday, which is a nice uh, horror movie anthology. So if anybody watches this video, definitely check out Southbound. I'm not gonna be able to do the review, I because I watched this film a little bit two days ago, and then yesterday I finished it. Five shorts, I think it was four or five shorts. It's pretty entertaining. But the thing is, though, I started, when I talked to my girlfriend, too, I started to have, like, weird-ass, like, headaches or migraines or something. And I'm doing this video like I'm talking to you right now, and I just said, I can't fucking do this. And it was a major pain. And the thing is, I look at those s'more candy corn and the Red Pop, Red 40. I consumed a lot of Red 40 food dye. Maybe, I'm not, I'm not fucking for sure... But I don't know. I called my mom at 10 o'clock. She was sleeping. And I just like, I just need some advice. Oh, it's okay. I hope you feel better. No, no, no. You know, she's not a doctor, but she's my mother. You know, having your mom's voice to say, hey, it's okay. It's all right. Keep going. So I ended up going to bed around midnight, moved my bed around. And I woke up and here I am. I mean, uh, yeah. So I'm feeling all right. You know, like I said, I wasn't going to do the Slam Journals, but. I said, what the fuck? I wanted to make more content. Just me talking to you, to people who even watches this video. Thank you guys once again, whoever watches these videos. And this is a long-ass video, but other than that, it was an alright day. It was more rain, and uh, just, uh, who knows? Maybe I have an allergy. My girlfriend said, maybe you have an allergy. So, I don't know, but that was the 27th, I think, or whatever it was. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if I'll make one today. I don't know, because today I'm off, and there's not really much going on, except the car. Oh, yeah. Long story short, and then let's say with the, the, the last, we found out about the car situation. 900 fucking dollars. And the Impala is full of shit. It has fucking it, it, more. It needs a thousand. Or it needs it, it needs work for two thousand dollars. So it's just, it's all downhill from here. And I still need to learn about loans and credit cards and shit. Just like, I need some credit. But I don't know. But everybody. Thank you again who watches these videos and whatnot. And be out for look out for more. So this is what keeps me going. So y'all take care. Be safe.